Hello. Hi. Uh, so, can you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, my name is Dikshit. Uh, I'm a fifth year medical student uh, in medical faculty of Novi Sad. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been uh, three to four years that Since... I am in this city. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see, this is my faculty behind. How does it feel like studying as a foreigner in this faculty of medicine? Uh, can you tell me? To be honest, it's, it's a great experience. Uh, I was very hesitant in the start, in the beginning because I thought how will I communicate, how will be the scenario over here but uh, people over here, over here they are very understanding, very helpful, very hospital and uh, everyone knows English. As you are a fifth year medical student, uh, you must know everything about the curriculum, about the studies. Can yeah. you tell me in detail about yeah. the aspects? Of uh, starting from first year uh, to sixth year, there are, uh, total there are six years of education with internship. Uh, and in holidays, you can do extra internship, uh, which is called a summer practice. Um, in first to sixth year, there are uh, they they are divided into different different parts. Uh, compared to India, all the subjects are same, but uh, some of the subjects are different. Uh, that are some European subjects, but uh, comparatively, some of the uh, subjects that uh, are very important over here that we need to pass at any course, they are uh, anatomy, uh, pathology. Uh, your pharmacology, um, your you know, internal medicine, ENT, surgery, ops, gyno, and uh, yeah, these are the main subjects. And uh, talking about uh, the um, hospitals, so all the hospitals uh, are adjacent to the university. You can say like the university is in the center, surrounded by hospitals, different types of hospitals. So the student don't have to you know go uh, or walk a lot. And um, all the departments are in the faculty. The faculty is very big and each and every department uh, knows English very well. Okay, Dikshit, uh, talking about all the aspects about the studies in this faculty, can you tell me the clinical exposure that this university provides uh, every student? Okay, uh, so... I'm, I will divide it into two parts, like if you are in first year, second year, there won't be that much uh, clinical exposure because the subjects are much more theoretical. And uh, above third year, uh, the uh, doctor feels like, uh, like that the student needs much more practical approach. So they will uh, organize practical classes. And uh, as uh, talking about me, I'm in fifth year, so I have every day in hospital, every day is a practical class for me, which I feel is very nice. And uh, as I told before, the, all the hospitals are very really close. Can you tell me the routine of your classes and the lectures uh, in this faculty? So, so yeah, basically uh, our lecture starts in early in the morning, around 8.30 or 9 o'clock. And uh, after the lecture, we, there is half an hour break. And after that, uh, you will be assigned to your doctors and uh, you will go to a particular department. And uh, over there, the doctors will uh, refer you to the hospital, to the patients. And you need to take the case history, you need to uh, make the case history, find out what is happening. And after that but, uh, practical part, they, they will, you will be uh, sitting in their cabins and uh, they will, you will be discussing about the prevention, precautions and treatment of the uh, patient. And it's like every day. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the admission process and the transfer process with this university? Uh, okay, talking about the admission process, if you want admission from first year, so uh, you have to apply for the admission uh, uh, from the site and there is a small exam uh, which comprises of biology and chemistry uh, and you need to clear it and then only you can enroll in this university no more transfers uh, in this faculty you can only get transferred till fourth year because there is a policy of this university that you can you have to study three years under them so which is i feel like is a very nice thing and they have particular amount of seats they don't take students in uh, like bunch load of students they don't do that and uh, which makes me feel like the university is not corrupted, not money-minded. They are very um, true with the students, very partial. And if you mail them, they will contact you directly, which I feel like is very nice. Can you tell me the format of exams in this university, Dikshit? Uh, so exams, uh, they work on like uh, two to three parts, uh, starting with the uh, MCQs. Uh, and when you, uh, after MCQ, if you qualify MCQs, then you will be going for the viva or the oral part and in viva oral part uh, the doctors will ask you questions and after the viva oral part there will be practical part like in anatomy they will uh, tell you to identify the skull bone nerves or uh, tissue whatever and uh, in higher years in third fourth year 
uh, they will assign you a patient and you need to do all the procedure like taking case history, uh, you know, uh, defining the diagnosis, defining the prevention precaution, what is happening to the uh, uh, patient. So it is very practical. Can you tell me about your personal experiences as a fifth year medical student now? How was it like? Uh, my personal experience, I would, I would say it was great uh, because the university is good. Uh, doctors are really nice. Uh, the people, the student, students, they are very helpful and the environment is really good. Uh, so my decision of coming to this university was uh, very nice and I don't regret it at all. Okay, Dikshit, what, uh, what other extra uh, activities you can do in the city as a student? Uh, there are lots of extracurricular activities that you can do over here, like um, the university has a tennis court, a football court, a swimming pool, where you can do all these, uh, all the activities, and uh, they organize uh, lots of meets, fests, um, you know, all those things, adventures, trips to different, different parts, which I feel is very uh, helpful for a student to relieve his uh, stress from his life. Thank you so much, Dikshit, for your time and your cooperation for agreeing with uh, with for this interview with me and i'm really glad that i met you and i want to wish you a great year ahead for your fifth year and i wish you all the best thank you so much